What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, I'm gonna be replacing the front grille on my 66 Mustang. This is something that I have struggled with since I bought the car. <laughs> I, had, I have a other video where I went through and I kind of cleaned it up, I sanded it down and painted it just to freshen it up, but this thing is, it's bent over the place, the tabs are broken inside here, there's a tab busted up here so it doesn't mount very good. It's just a tired old grill and it's just to the point where I want to replace it and I'm going to put in just a brand new one just to replace this guy. And while I'm in here, I'm also going to replace these decorative uh, grill molding pieces that go on, you know, in front of it. They're aluminum, but they're getting all tore up and the paint's fading on them and scratched. And it's just one of those things that while I'm in this front of the car, I'm going to go ahead and freshen this up and just kind of keep this whole front end looking nice as we continue to move forward with the car. So let's get into it. All right, to get this grill out, there's only a handful of screws we need to take out. There's two up top here, and then you're gonna have one screw on each side here, but of course mine's broken. And then down on the bottom here, you've got four of those guys uh, along the bottom edge that we're gonna have to take out to get this guy out of, out of the way. And then we can go after these trim pieces. Now my, my uh, horns here are not in the traditional spot, so I had to loosen them a little bit to get to the, bottom, to the screws on the bottom down here. You guys probably won't have to do that because your horns are probably in the correct spot. Yeah, the horns are normally supposed to be like right in this area here and over here, but I had to move them because I cut that core support out for the radiator. Cool, so now that we got this piece out, uh, we can go after these uh, molding pieces down here. So to take these trim pieces out, there's just one screw on either side. In this case, there's one on this side on, for the other trim piece that's over there. And then there's a clip piece that's holding this down into the sheet metal here of this, of this bumper piece, this valance piece. So we're just gonna lift up on it. And, oh, see this stuck in there, but this is supposed to stay inside the track here. And these just, they clip into here and they, that's what the setup is here. So this is how we get this piece out. And the same thing on this side, we'll just take the screw out. Lift this up. Oh, we're missing one, but we got one still in there, but uh, there should have been another one in here. And this last piece, you know, you're probably supposed to take out first, but the problem is, is that this was a little, put on here a little too tight. Whatever this uh, jam nut kind of thing is. It's designed to be put on here and then you tighten it from underneath, but you can't easily get to it. That's why I pulled these side pieces out first and then that was able to, to loosen this up. I can't tell what size that was because the new piece that I'm gonna be putting in has a similar setup, but it doesn't, it's not this big. So anyways, if you, if you can figure out, I think this is a 9 16, actually let's look. Yeah, it's a 9 16 wrench. And if you can get that in there, maybe loosen it up before you pull the side pieces off. But uh, anyways, yeah. Now we could put the new piece in, you can see how faded and worn out this uh, this original piece was and how nice and clean this new one's gonna look in here and if we here's the the parts you're gonna have these pieces that are gonna slide inside here inside these tracks and then you're gonna have to just position them where they're gonna line up with this but the nice thing about why these are slots is it allows you to fine-tune the where this trim piece goes from you know left to right here and then you also have one of these pieces for the the side here for you to put the screw in but i've already got one in there so i'll just use that but i'll save this for something else but we'll put the new screw in
So now we're gonna put the center piece on, and like I was saying before, this little nut piece on here, it's a little bit different thread or, um, size than the one that was on the car originally. Went ahead and just kinda got it started, just enough to hold it in place. And then we're just gonna slide it on here, kinda hold everything there, and then from here we can get, I've got it, it's a 3 8 uh, wrench here, and we can just drive that nut all the way back to the bottom. There, that's all done, centered. Now we can put the grill back in. All right, now when putting this in, again, I gotta deal with these horns a little bit. You guys shouldn't have to do that because it'll be out of the way. But when we go to put it in here, just be careful, just take your time. If you don't wanna scratch anything, if you can help it. Just kinda work down each side and it'll just fall into place. And it'll rest along the bottom down here where those screws in the bottom go. And you may have, you may find you have to bend the tab just a little bit to fit your car because not every car is exactly the same. Like this one, I got to bend this up just a little bit. There, that sits a little bit better. Same thing on this side. No, actually that side's pretty good. I could probably leave that one there. These, bend these down just a little bit. There. Man, it's already looking better. Awesome. Oh yeah, that looks much better, much cleaner. You know, it's the little details, like, you know, getting these pieces replaced, you don't notice it until you walk up the car and you start seeing that kind of stuff. But as you try to, again, like I'm trying to do, I'm trying to just go ahead and just keep chipping away at the car. Lots of little pieces. Every time I can upgrade something, replace it, make it nice and clean. That's what I'm trying to do. And uh, I like the way that looks. On the, uh, the old grill here, I've got the, the pony I don't know if I'm gonna put that back on there yet. I haven't decided what I wanna do. I kinda of like the, the less is more look. So we'll see how this, uh, we'll see how this comes out. All right guys, so that is a new grill installed. I'll put the part numbers in the description below. Um, but other than that, this, is, uh, this came out a little bit better than I was hoping. I wanted to just clean up the front end of the car. Uh, you have to be careful when you're installing these pieces. You can scratch them pretty easy. In fact, there's some scratches here on this grill I noticed. I don't know if that was came that way or if it was from me being careless. But just a heads up, I mean, it's going to scratch eventually. But I want it to stay nice as long as I can for as long as it can. So, yeah, this came out pretty good. So, I, I like it. Uh, now I just need to worry about the rest of the front of the car. But it uh, looks good. All right, guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.